G'day and welcome back to our Rights of Pizza campaign in EU4. So we've uh, managed to get seriously freaking lucky with the coalition wars. Next one is going to be a doddle. Got uh, Austria and France against, well, Alsace. And Savoy's got the bigger army. Platinum's already dead. Rumor is spreading that Crimea is preparing to attack Lithuania. Really? And that was the other alliance we lost, was Poland. Who we actually do want to get back. If we were not at war, um, let's go improve relations over there. Do we actually want anything from this war? No, because we can't afford to take any land. So we just need enough war score to knock them out. Okay. Venice, Clemabruzzi. And what well, we want to try and get Hungary back as well. Alright, Hungary and Poland. Well, we'd have to choose between them. I think we'd choose probably Hungary, since Poland have no sign of getting under Lithuania. Getting Lithuania under them. Alright, um, yeah, we'll do Hungary first then. Which means... Actually, we want to improve with the Emperor. Although, he loves this again. So we can start adding small land. There, there, and there. And we never got to take Romania. Alright, here we go. Ladislav has a weak claim. So we do kind of want him to die. Hey, there we go. Even though he was kick ass. So, if we die right now. Just a new de Valois. And Provence is our dynasty as well. That could be interesting. Alright, Desires of the Flesh. Natural Scientist. Alright. Uh, what does the National Scientist give us? Production Efficiency. I don't really care. We'd lose Prestige. That is an issue. Lose Ducats. Gain Unrest. In the Naples area. If we were to kill him. Or Papal Authority. We cannot have an adulteress for a Queen. Giovanna must go. Oh, she's a 4-6. I wouldn't mind keeping her around if we do get a... Uh... No, screw it. This is most embarrassing. Lose prestige anyway. Oh, buggy. Alright, Brittany. Ooh, a 3 3 4. Filippo. And he's got a strong claim. That's the important part. Alright, Filippo. So, the next thing is... Giovanna is better than Federigo. So, let's make him a dude. We won't put him in charge of an army. Speaking of which, we do have an army. Alright, next idea gives us prestige and diplomatization cost, which is not at all important. Development cost, not so much either. But getting our prestige back up, nearly plus three per year, so it's ten years off getting that back. And we have to suffer a battle. Salvatore. Um, seven days out. And tomorrow. Alright, I would rather not lose the manpower. But we can't sue for peace anyway, so we're going to have to hope that we can just win this. It's in the hills, so we suffer a penalty. Spiring busted. Okay. And no reinforcements. Oh, they were, right at the end. Austria. I was looking for the French to come in. Okay, do we win? We do. Which means we can probably piece them out now. Um, go back to Naples. Not going to do anything else ourselves now that we are 6,000 men in the hole. And the clergy are disloyal. Ah, everyone wants more land. Alright, I guess we would hand over Friuli and Verona. Friuli and Treviso. Alright. It is a territorial core. Of course it is. That is... In here. Uh, we need a lot more. Well, a couple of months we'll do Treviso. Two more months, I would say. Uh, yes. Yeah. 
Okay. So Treviso, which does have autonomy, goes to the nobles. Makes them happy. And we give this one to the clergy. Makes them happy. And Venetian separatists. Yeah, I don't know. Deal with that later if we have to. And let's just wait a couple of months until he's maxed out. Alright, 1st of July. He comes home. Genara's under attack. Yeah, I've already recalled him. He's actually leaving again. Alright, um, yeah, I don't think there's any reason to wait any longer other than increasing the length of the truce. You give Alsace to them. Can't even do that. Why? Would result in their annexation or vassalization. Well, make him an Austrian vassal. No. Austria does not want it. So, yeah, we're going to take money. We are, I guess, just going to take reps. Genoa has an alliance with Nuremberg. Could return Genoa to Genoa. Um, I don't know if we would want that. But I guess it's a good way of getting stuff to happen. Austria is expecting some land. So we're going to have to clear all this. We're going to have to give them Alsace to keep them happy. Which means this war is going to have to drag out. And Austria has been re-elected. Naval research is wrong. Lose. Uh, Diplo. Screw it. Lose the prestige. I mean, it's another 10, 12, 13 something years. Yeah, it'll be fine. Alright, just means we can't get the alliance back with Hungary for that much longer. Because we're going to be losing favours with them. Just stay friendly. Alright, we can build things. How is our money looking? It's looking fine. Alright, Corfu is still being a bit cheeky down there. And how's the institution spread? Yeah. Most of the Germans are going to have it soon. England's already taken it. Now, the more worrying thing is the aggressive expansion. Bavaria's always going to hate us. Bohemia's far enough away. So Brandenburg and Saxony. Three electors. They just hate our guts. Need Austria to bring it down a bit. Or at least Castile hasn't taken any issue with it. Hmm. It's going to be a long time before we can really take any more land, though. So I guess we can play peacefully for a while. Build up our money, build up our fleet a little. Where's our thing? We're actually trying to get money. Okay, those rogues in Luca. Yeah. We need to take land. We need to make sure all of our friends are friendly again. Oh, we're done in Poland. And um, yeah, we'll go back to improving over here. And while we're not using the other guy, keep France as happy as we can. Really want to get Sicily back. Okay, Genoa, it's not going to happen. These guys are fine, but we'll just park them in Napoli. Alright, it's only a couple of months on both of them. And Savoy, we just need to take the capital. Where else are they going? They already hold everything up there. He just doesn't seem to understand that his job is to do that. Alright, now, Castile, we can't get the alliance because he's rivaled France. So we can do Hungary. Might be able to do Poland, depending on how they react. We don't even have the royal marriage with them anymore, so Poland doesn't really matter. And since they're not Poland-Lithuania, Lithuania's even getting his butt kicked. 
Crimea, Muscovy, yeah. Alright, recall from France. And what is the trust here? 59. So we have to be a little cautious. But we should definitely be able to do this now. Savoy is the only bit that hasn't been taken. So if we did not give it to them, they wouldn't care. They only seem to care. Well, let's have a quick look at forming Italy. Do we need Genoa? We do. So we won't take Genoa in this war. It's going to be our best chance. Now they have an issue with it, which is trust by 10. But if we give them Alsace, they will owe us 11 favours, even better. Alright, causes a little bit of an issue. But, I mean, we're going to be at peace for a long time anyway. Alright, no and old treaties. The Palatinate would become our vassal. I do like the idea of that. Um, yeah, fine. We'll take a vassal. He should still be an elector as well. He is. So vassals, yeah, start vassalizing electors. That's how we'll uh, take over the HRA from Austria. Alright, send that. Oh good, we're at peace. We can name a rival. So we have Tunis and Venice. We could do the Pope or Bavaria. Well, take a look at it this way. Bavaria get Bohemia and Saxony back on our side a little. Whereas if we went down here, it'd be a lot less useful. Okay, let's go Bavaria. Was I looking at Bavaria or Bohemia? Um, yeah, Saxony, Bohemia. Bohemia still hates us. Saxony still hates us. Up the rage. The aggressive expansion is a little higher still. And he has high liberty desire. Palatinate. So what we need to do with them... Can't inherit their elector status unless we do things to marry them. And get a PU over them. But in the meantime, we'll just improve relations. Trust the Hungary, Poland, Castile, Austria. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, so we need these guys back first. They're slightly too negative. Alright. Palatinate. Start improving relations. It's only on 52. They have no focus. They would need to be... Supportive. So we would need their help as much as anything. Alright. Gilray, Pomerania, Friesland into a coalition. We've become a great power. Just barely over Vajanaga. That would be from having Genoa. And the thing I did forget is the whole thing here. Alright. Utrecht, Munster, Oldenburg. So there were a few that weren't already involved. Get up to Siena. And there we go. Achievement unlocked. Not just pizza. So this won't be a complete loss if we do end up losing it anyway. Got um, not just pizza is for becoming a great power as Naples. And then the only other thing we're going to try and do in this campaign is form Italy, which means we need. What else? Probably a lot. Uh, form Italian nation. Have to core Genoa. Have to take Milan and Modena. Mantua, Friends, and Rome. And admin tech 10. So it's a long way off, but we'll see how we do. Fine, fine, fine. Corruption is growing. That should be okay. It's just because of the overextension. That's not really growing too seriously. Um, next thing is we'll mothball the forts, just save the cash. The mission is for 154 ducats. Truce of Memingen has ended, so that will join the coalition. Along with a few others. Um, means we need to get hungry back. Minus seven. We've already got royal ties. Um, we can't send them a gift. Alright, Poland. If you get the alliance with them. I still would rather Hungary. Because they seem to be a lot stronger than Poland in this game. 
Yeah, pretty sure this coalition's going to fire though. So let's just grab who we can be sure of. Just got the extra thing from them. All right, normally claim Dalmatia from Venice. And we'll take a look here. Yeah, so we're never going to get hungry now. These Hunyadis, not um, von Habsburgs. It's weird. All right, Milan is our old ally. We can't do that. Castile, we can't do because of France. England, we can't do opinion in France. All right, then who is allied to France? Scotland, Naples, Savoy. I doubt Savoy would be interested. Uh, Naples, Bavaria, Saxony, Bohemia, Brandenburg. No, not going to be able to get anyone. All right, well, we're improving as quickly as we can with them. Disloyal is <clears throat> the aggressive expansion we need to get rid of. Um, keep the Emperor happy. All right, Ravensburg. Not the biggest issue in the world. Hamburg, Bremen. France has started influencing the Papal States. It's all right. All right, we have accumulated money. Prove our legitimacy. Well, we need to die for that to happen. Become Papal Controller, Manpower Reserves. Yeah, I'll try getting Diplo rep. So we are a youngin. I'm not going to be able to die naturally. It's not us. Um, 28. Hmm. Okay, we will put him in charge of the army. It's fine. The sooner he dies, the better. I'm not going to be able to do that during a war. The coalition's going to keep growing. If the other coalition... Uh, Venetian separatists in... All the way up there. Um, if we were to offer military access, hopefully that would do things for us. And of course, we have great power actions now as well. Force somebody to break an alliance. Need positive prestige. Finish the separatists. Ah, crap. Forgot about the whole fort thing going on up there, too. All right. Ah, uh, damn it. Aquilaeans and Corsicans. Six years and eight years out. Should be acceptable. Let's get a better army. Right, Austrians are going to come in and do it. Tunis no longer considers this a rival. It's no longer valid because... No apparent reason. Must have just lost a war. Which means that we're going to grab maybe Portugal. Hungary, Burgundy. Burgundy. Everybody hates Burgundy, right? And you have Austria, France, Provence, England. Yep. Alright. The Burgundians. Are we sure? Yes, we're sure. And we're looking good here. Humiliating Genoa is definitely a good move. Alright. Cardinal across the border. Treviso. Um, Venice, don't bother us, that's fine. We have four active cardinals now, and they have enough to do that for themselves. Don't want to suffer any attrition. But we are fine in there. Good. Alright, and it does mean... Crap. Should change the guy over. Since he's actually in charge of the thing as well. Ooh, just made it. Alright. In that case, we'll head over to Friuli. Take it back. Faster is better. Alright, access from Provence will accept. Aragon and Florence, sure. Might build their trust in us. Alright, get back over to help with this. Well, they're suffering attrition now, so we don't want it. Um, let's go to Verona. Got all the way through that month. Alright, and we're 3,000 men short because of that battle. Savoy of Rivaldus. Okay. 
Tristan Milan is over. Milan has entered the coalition, as expected. And whoever else was in that particular war is going to join as well. Do we have... Yeah, we have a thing on Rome. Hello, did Switzerland, Venice, and Lucca. Uh, 1491. That was the long truce. Okay. Uh, Milan was just the peace. Hmm. Who is in the coalition at the moment? Too many for us to attack. We'd have to be defensive. Uh, Burgundy all them are in 91, so that was the big one. So we need to come down fast enough in the next five years. I don't really see that happening. Robber Barons. Gain base tax in Salento. Production. Alright, so the bigger thing is who do we need to like us more? The Burgers. Um, burgers again. Alright, actually knocks that down more than we'd like. Can we do something to get their loyalty back? Uh, it's only prestige, that's fine. Alright, anything for our dear consort. Crown would help to get rid of the Spymaster. I guess we don't really need that, so losing admin is the big deal there. Just lose prestige. It's always going to be bad anyway. Alright, Savoy had insulted us. Poland wants a marriage. Yeah. They might be a long-term thing, even though they're not with Lithuania. They should still be able to help out with the Germans. Really prefer to have Hungary on our side, though. Minus 12, and there's nothing we can do to make them happier with us. There's no way we'd be able to get the Ottomans on our side. Your opinion is horrendous. Just tell them that we're friendly. Let's actually start improving. Would rather not have to defend against the Ottomans. A few wars going on. Firing CV on Savoy. We have the truce with them until 98. That's a good length. Alright, we're paying for the thing in Naples again. Um, growth of cities attracts serfs. From Salento to Naples. Nobility lose loyalty. Is just barely high enough to handle it. Or we'll gain loyalty, lose morale. Okay, no, it's fine. I'm not going to have corruption. Losing the currency because yeah, no. You'd have the guy to get rid of the inflation before it starts getting out of control. Alright, it's another four and a half years of rooting out corruption. We're now well connected. Why is the cost reduction? That's good. We can grab some aggressive expansion impact reduction. Unfortunately it doesn't speed up how quickly you get rid of it. Lost our claim on Ragusa. So we lost our CB against the Ottomans. That should um, hopefully make them a little happier with us. Allied to his rival Austria. Hmm. Are we still rivaled to Genoa? No, Venice, Bavaria, Burgundy. And Savoy hates us as well. Alright, who's the next great power? Oh, the Janigars. Just dropped off. Okay. England must have just bought the thing. Castile is next up the list. Alright, here we go. Florence, Provence, Ansbach, Bohemia, Lorraine. I assume Bohemia will join the coalition. Hmm. Just going to have to try and hold out. Worked well before, as long as France aren't involved in another war and Austria aren't involved in another war. And Poland as well, I guess. Alright, how are we looking on our little buddy, Platinum? It's down to 31%. You can get him up a decent amount more. And did that? No, it's still on 4 out of 4. Poland, France, Austria. Yeah, we need somebody else. 
France are rival to Austria. That's not cool. So rival to Castile. Allied with Scotland and Savoy. Yeah. All right, take tax reduction. But I'm going to take a short break here. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I hope to see you again soon. See you later.